the midst of a regional identity formation that we move from a language that talks about ours being mine and yours to ours being all of ours. So, And I just think it's time for the Bay Area as a leading um, private sector area to start to lead in the area of regional governance. We start from seeing some of the great successes in our region are the product of having established some kind of governance system. But the statistics that Rush shows about the, the education and the income and the sophistication of the, of the Silicon Valley population also tells us that that means we have um, a, a much more complicated uh, arrangement in trying to deal with our citizens, even as we have much better potential for doing that. I think one of our challenges, though, is that we establish these incredible regional entities coming out of World War II into the 50s and 60s to deal with air, to deal with transportation, to deal with the bay but they were single purpose entities. When you look at regions that have changed successfully so that um, the residents who live regionally uh, get more benefit and more responsiveness, it's usually come with the exception of BCDC, as Igon talked about, and activists usually come from the business community. And it's ironic to me that here in Silicon Valley and in the Bay Area that we're, in my view, behind cities like London or Hong Kong that are global economic powers. We are facing some of those very serious threats that we have to respond to on a cross-jurisdictional level. We could do so with a new entity. I think that we should look and think about not doing that, of actually trying to take some of the existing ones we have and get them to kind of work together or engage differently. If you were to say to me, we have 101 cities in the nine barrier counties, is that too many? I would say objectively, there's no question about it. We're spending a tremendous amount of money on duplicate administrative overhead because there are so many small cities. We have structures, it's just how they interrelate, how they continue to empower local government, not overpower them, but be more responsive to a very different social and environmental world that we're part of and business world. Some of you know that we now have something called Clipper, a card that allows you to go across a number of systems but what it really does is it allows each system to take a fare from you. They didn't lead to any resolution of those conflicts and fares when they put it forward. That was something that could have happened. This regionalism issue is real. And how do we move from a conceptualization of it being real to practicing how it's real?